Well, I've, I've got personal issues with food. I'm very discriminating. You discriminate. Yeah. Sorry, I don't understand. I can't really go into everything that I feel about it. It's, it takes it would take far too long. What's your thoughts when you see animals uh, suffering, being exploited and murdered? Obviously, it's distressing. Distressing? Yeah, I agree. Is there any way in your life at the moment where you pay for animals to be put in them positions? No. You're not? Oh, so are you vegan? No, no, not, not really. No, I suppose I shouldn't say that, but I am very careful. Explain to me how you're careful. Discriminating. I'm very discriminating. You discriminate. Sorry, I don't understand. How are you careful? Um, I limit the damage that I do to the best of my ability. In what regards? Um, <clears throat> all sorts of things. So, do you, uh, I am I right in presuming that you currently eat animals? Yeah. Okay, so when we talk about limiting the damage, why wouldn't you just eradicate the damage that you're causing and not pay for any of them to be exploited and murdered? Because each individual is an individual, right? Yeah. So they're all individually having a subjective experience of their life. Yeah. So if we cause damage to one or we cause damage to ten, both are an injustice to the individual. Yeah. See what I mean? I do. By the way, I'm not judging you because I wasn't born vegan, but... <laughs> When I wasn't vegan and I now am vegan, yeah. I'm doing my best to defend animals. Understood. So yeah, I'm understood. talking from their perspective. I'm not yeah. judging you in any way. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So what justifications are you using currently to pay for animals to be slaughtered? Justification? Yeah. How are you justifying it? I've got... I do have reasons. I do have May reasons. May I ask why? I, they I, are? Well, I don't really want to get into, the, into a huge debate. But I do really respect your position. Well, it's easy to respect my position because I don't cause any suffering, exploitation, no, that's right. kidnap, rape, murder. Yeah. But if right. you're not vegan, yeah, do you know what happens in the dairy industry? No. The, mo the mother cows are raped in the dairy industry. They're forcefully impregnated. It was just on the screen a minute ago. Right, right. Do you know how long that she'll carry her baby for? For nine months. These are male calves in the dairy industry. Do you know why they're cutting their throats? Because they can't produce milk. Correct. They're, they're classed as a waste product, so they just cut their throats. Do you think that that's justifiable for milk? <laughs> no. No. I appreciate your honesty. These are the females. So whether the baby being born is a female or a male, if they're females, they get put in these isolation hutches for around 8 to 12 weeks because they're not allowed their mother's milk because the milk is going to be drained from her and then be used for human consumption. Yeah. Things like yogurts, dairy milk, chocolate bars. When the mothers are too tired, they collapse. They're classed as a spent dairy cow. Yeah. Can you guess what age, on average, a dairy cow slaughters? No. Around five years old. They should live to around 25. Obviously, the age that they're slaughtered is irrelevant. It's the act of the fact they're being murdered. Does any of this look justifiable when you think of dairy products? I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. It was the dairy industry that made me vegan. Yeah. What about other industries like eggs? Do you know what happens to male chicks in the egg industry? Same. Do you know what they do to them? They either put them in a macerator, which is just an open blender, or they put them inside uh, like a black bag and suffocate them. Because people think like eggs and milk are innocent byproducts of animals. So they never see any injustice in consuming milk and dairy. Yeah. Uh, sorry, dairy and eggs. Perhaps. In fact, the footage you're watching right now of this black and white dairy cow, this is the footage that turned me vegan and my wife. We went vegan at the same time. Yeah. Do you think that there is a humane way to take a life of someone who doesn't want to die? Uh, I can't answer that. I would, obviously, you would say definitely not. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. The thing is, when it comes to animals being slaughtered, exploited, murdered, people tend to just like put walls up and put barriers up and we don't really even grant them thought. We don't even really think about what's happening to them. And if it was humans in this position, we'd do everything we can to get them out and stop them, right? But most people just don't think about it and they continue contributing towards it without a second thought. Do you think that that's fair for the animals? <laughs> Obviously not. No, I agree. Do you know... I've, I've got to go now. Can I just leave you with one question? Can I ask one question? You can ask. What would stop you being vegan? Um, well, I've, I've got personal issues with food. Yeah? I don't eat much myself, so if I was to restrict it further, I probably wouldn't eat much at all. What about if you was to be shown a way how you can have food that is plant-based, vegan, and still get what you need from food? Would you agree that that's a better option to leave the animals alone? Possibly. Why would it not be? 
Uh, I can't really, I can't really go into everything that I feel about it. It's, it takes, it would take far too long. But I, I think what you're doing is very commendable, and I, I really genuinely admire your commitment. Well, I'll just leave you with, with this thought. The whole time you're not vegan, animals will go into slaughterhouses for you. And there's a challenge called Challenge 22 online. Mm -hmm. And if you go onto there and you'll be given a free mentor for 22 days, completely for free. And you can tell them exactly all your things and your thoughts that you don't want to go into right now. But there will be someone you can go into with that. Mm -hmm. And they will show you the way that you can take that information and still live a vegan lifestyle. And never have to contribute animals being exploited and murdered ever again. If I give you a card, would you look into it a bit further? Yeah. Let me give you a card. What is your name? Caroline. Caroline. My name is Steve. I really enjoyed talking to you, Caroline. And whatever issues you have, it will be sorted for you. All right, Caroline. Have a good day.